in episode five of the PSAT math no calculator crash course, I talked about a certain type of problem that I said you should be able to recognize and know how to complete because it comes up all the time. And as mentioned in that case, it's one of those systems of equations questions where you have to find how many things of two different types you have. So for example, in the problem we were looking at in number five of section three, it was easy and hard puzzles. And in addition to the number of puzzles, there were you were given value. So in that case, it was point value. Maybe in another question, you'd be given dollar value. In this question, it's how many students are uh, assigned to a particular section. So as I said, this is a question type that comes up. And here again, we see it in the calculator section, but it's really just the same thing, setting up two equations, two unknowns, solving that system. So let's see what we got. In a college archaeology class, 78 students are going to a dig site to find and study artifacts. The dig site has been divided into 24 sections, and each section will be studied by a group of either two or four students. How many of the sections will be studied by a group of two students? So our two things that we have to assign our variables to are the groups of two and the groups of four, or the sections with a group of two and the sections with a group of four. So let's let x equal the two-person sections and we'll let y equal the four person sections now we know that they've been divided into 24 sections total so that must mean when we add together the number of total sections it should equal 24 and notice so far this is running very similar to what we saw in episode 5 of the PSAT no calculator section. So if you're having trouble with these questions, compare and contrast number 29 from this section and number five from the last, and you'll see a lot of similarities. Next, we know that 20, 78 students are going total, and two students go in each of these X sections, and four students go in each of these Y sections. So when I multiply two times X, that's going to give me the number of students in the two person sections. And when I multiply four times y, I'm going to get the number of students in the four-person sections. And if I add up the students in the x sections and the student in the y sections, I should get 78 total students. And here we have my two equations, and now I just need to go ahead and solve the system. So I'll multiply the top by negative 2. That's going to give me negative 2x minus 2y equals negative 48. Bottom equation is still the same. Now I'll go ahead and add. 2x's cancel, I get 2y equals 30, so y equals 15. Now, what do they want? They want the number of sections studied by a group of two students. y, which is 15, is the four-person sections. So let's just plug it in. We know that there's got to be 24 sections total, so that means x has got to be 9, and that is our answer. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll. And you can find the link in the description below the video.